It is time for Mike Schur to share his game notes. No one in the media will tell you what happened better than my voice. Mike Schur. <laughs> May Observations is brought to you by the Miami Heat bandwagon. Are you a jaded front-running Miami sports fan who gave up on the team in November? Hop on board the Miami Heat bandwagon. Plenty of good seats available, just like at Heat playoff games. Dan! You're better than that. You're a no hack. No one gave them You're a, a chance. No one gave them a chance. They've never won a championship. They're a rarely discussed team in a third class sport from way down in South Florida. But after playoff disappointment last year, they've done a complete reset. And this scrappy group of no names might just have what it takes to bring home the hardware. And Dan, make no mistake about it. Just like that, the Tampa Bay Rays are back <laughs> you mofo they're so good the d-rays <laughs> randy Rosarena and dem boys the fighting francos shane mcclanahan and company <laughs> garrett clevenger Braden trelnick cooper criswell yanni chirinos etc those aren't real names <laughs> one of those guys i named is not real <laughs> and none of you knows which one it is <laughs> South Florida hockey. Hockey, South Florida. I'm introducing you because you've never met before. Sergei Bobrovsky. Do it in the conference finals. Matthew Kachuk. Do it in the conference funnels. You know what turned the Panther season around, Roy? What was that, Mike? They got better on the four check. Thank you. <laughs> Here come the pirates. <laughs> Haven't been on the show in a while, but I've been listening. I really like this new format you have. First, it's the local hour, where Dan, Mike, and Jeremy Taché talk all things Miami sports. Then it's the Big Suey, where Mike, Dan, Billy, Chris, Roy, Jeremy Taché, and Tony do a Miami sports roundup. Then comes hour one, featuring Dan, Mike, Max Struess, <laughs> Jeremy Taché, Izzy Gutierrez, and someone named Zaslow, <laughs> covering all your Florida Panthers news and notes, <laughs> while Jessica Smetana complains about how cold the studio is. Then, then comes hour two, where Mike, Jeremy Taché, Dan, Tony, every member of the Cody family, Izzy Gutierrez, someone named Zaslo, Mark Hockman, Billy Corbin, Ron McGill, Pitbull, Dan Marino, and eight Cuban guys who are extras in Scarface. Cover everything from heat culture to the Florida Panthers Stanley Cup run. There were no Cubans in Scarface. And it was finally, just it's Al the post-game show. <laughs> and finally, it's the post-game show. Where Gloria Estefan, a busboy from the Fountain Blue Hotel, and a rotting manatee corpse that washed up on South Beach talk about how bad the traffic has gotten on Biscayne Boulevard. Taylor. Taylor is that rotting manatee. Way to, <laughs> way to build a national audience, Metal Arc Media. <laughs> I told them they and were getting the way, annoying and they didn't agree with me. They don't agree with me. <laughs> I told them that they're well beyond obnoxious. They ignore me. <laughs> you run the show. I don't. Uh, though. Shut up I about Miami. If I if uh, I ran the show, Stugatz would be here. <laughs> well, speaking of which, and by the way, the next thing is, does Stugatz still even work there? Keep an eye on the Orioles. <laughs> hey, Tony. <laughs> I played chess against my 12-year-old yesterday. <laughs> I moved Bishop to Rook nine. <laughs> <laughs> she checkmated me in two moves. <laughs> Charlotte Wilder. Smart. Calm. I'm afraid of this one. Reasonable. <laughs> Says she doesn't hate very many things in sports. Are you sure she's from Boston? She does not remind me of any sports fan I know from Boston. Jimmy Butler. Having an incredible playoffs. 
34 points a game. Six rebounds a game. Four fake injuries he miraculously recovers from per game. Oh, no. How dare you? Eight opposing... <laughs> <laughs> Eight opposing crowd trolls per game. What's wrong with those? 16 offensive flops that lead to phantom foul calls per game. Jimmy Butler. If he's on the other team, you hate him. But if he's on your team, you hate him and pretend you love him. <laughs> Anyone who says the words Himmy Butler could be sent to prison. Put it on the poll, Juju, at Levitard I'm, Show. Should anyone who says the name Jimmy but Himmy Butler be sent to prison? I did it once on the broadcast to his face. Look at me, Lou. I'm serious about it. Yeah, go sit in the penalty Get him out of here. I'm okay with wow. DeSantis actually doing that with Florida legislation. I'm good with it. 10 years maximum security prison. That's the punishment. Should be. Put that on the poll as you well. You know what Juju. the H in Jimmy Butler stands for, Dan? I do, do not. Do you know what the H in, him, in Jimmy Butler stands for? There is no H. Stop calling him Jimmy Butler. <laughs> LeBron James. Do it in the finals. <laughs> Lonnie Walker the fourth. Do it in literally any other game ever in your entire life. How is that possible that that's, serious, that that's what's going to dethrone yeah. the Warriors? 15 points from that guy in the fourth quarter. Seriously? That's how it's going to end for Steph? In the fourth quarter. Come on. You know what the IV in Lonnie Walker the fourth stands for, Dan? <laughs> I do not. It stands for the IV he had to put in his arm after the game because he was so exhausted. Yeah. Don't don't sleep on the Rangers. The average baseball game this year is two hours and 36 minutes. They used to be so long, you guys. How long were they? They were longer than that Miller Lite ad read that Mike Wright and Jeremy Taché do. <laughs> <laughs> that is getting I mean, Jesus, that guys. Is getting it so complained about around here. We have no less popular advertising that more people are talking about. They're still running that? I hit the, I hit the fast forward 30 seconds button on my phone eight times. And I still didn't get all the way through it. Just 96 calories. If you start playing Mike and Jeremy's Miller Lite ad read at the exact beginning of The Wizard of Oz, the movie ends two-thirds of the way through the ad. <laughs> Writers Guild of America on strike. To give you some idea why, I'll put this in Stu Gott's terms. Our opening proposal to the studios was to split the profits from our work 98 to their way. And they told us to go bleep ourselves. <laughs> Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. The Stu Gotts is strong in you. When I was a kid, I had to take this gross-tasting medicine for an earache. And I hated it. So my mom would stir it into ice cream to get me to choke it down. But the thing was, I could always still taste it. Stirring it in just kind of ruined the ice cream. In an unrelated note, <laughs> it's been great having David Sampson popping up all over the feed the last couple of weeks. <laughs> He so speaks for the audience. <laughs> He's like, it's unbelievable how much he speaks for the audience. It's like this personification of acid has come to life and it's delivered just so much more gently by him. David Sampson. Saying professional screenwriters are fungible. Hey, David. Go fund yourself. <laughs> You guys always say the Celtics are too white. But every Miami Heat game I watch, it's Max Struess, Kevin Love, Duncan Robinson, Cody Zeller, Tyler Hero watching from the bench in a dumb hat. <laughs> Even the fans in the crowd are all wearing white. Looks like the boardroom meeting of an insurance company in Des Moines. 
Also, I told you Jamokes months ago. You did. That the Heat were the most dangerous team in the playoffs. We did. We laughed at you. I told you they were the last team I wanted to play. Yes. And how did you, Jamokes, respond? Yeah, we laughed at you. We laughed at you. You and... mocked me. You yep. called me paranoid. You laughed at me. Well, who's laughing now? Well, we still are. Oh, it's you guys, right? Because the Heat are going to make the conference finals. Yeah. The point is, I told you your team was good, yes. and you refused to believe me. That's correct. And yeah. I hope both you and the entire Miami Heat roster rots in hell. <laughs> and oh. while you're rotting there, <laughs> say hello to Art Bryles for me. <laughs> Dan, those are the April 10th to May 9th observations. <laughs>